Hi my friends, it's Carol and welcome to my craft room. Did you see my F-150 going down the highway? I was headed for Port Colburn to Brenda's shop, Stamplicity, again. I went yesterday and um, you know because I had so many computer problems, I had to get out. I had to just get in my truck and go do some more shopping. So that's what I did. Now on these star form stickers, which I love, I have done many projects using them. Today's project I did, I put the corners on the edges of the envelope and I ran the black and gold around the slimline cards. I'm just looking for them here. I had to go and get them. Uh, especially this one here. I did a small thin black line which just adds some beauty to a card. It just adds that something something. And then I added the gold and I love the look of it. So this is how I store them, just in a clipped storage bag, plastic, and it comes in the thin stripes in black, silver, and gold, all kinds of different patterns. And I think this is my silver, white, and black section. And they come in all kinds of patterns and all kinds of goodness to help you with your cards when you need that space to just decorate something, uh, you know, with a little detail to it. So that's why I had bought the Merry Christmas ones, because not only did I love the font, but I just love these stickers. And it is after, no, not quite after midnight yet. So I wanted to say that I went shopping yesterday, because it's not midnight yet, so I can say that. <laughs> I was having so many computer problems, I just had to go shopping again. So this will be my third haul, and I think you'll enjoy it. There's the Merry Christmas. I like to see what's out there in the stores without having to go shop. That's why I watch haul videos, to see if there's anything I just have to have. And I hadn't been shopping for some time. And here's the star form stickers I put on my LDRS Creative Design Card using gold thread and the light up uh, thingamabobs there that I put on the inside. You press it and the hearts light up. I just really love this card. It was a joy to create. I'm trying to figure it out, but it is a flip card. And it's a boing boing bear there, panda. And every time you press the heart, those lights go on underneath the gold thread. That really, see it? There it is. Get up there, Carol. Press it. you got to press it in the right spot. And then it lights up. So there it is again. Yes, it's a beautiful card. This was a beautiful design. And I loved the pattern. You know what I did, how I did that? I just took a die that had stitches, stitches on it. And then I sewed the gold thread uh, back and forth, back and forth in a T section to make that pattern. And I have a video on that if you want to check it out on this card. But I did want to show you the star form stickers and why I buy them. This is in white, silver, and black. All different designs. Three different designs right there. And then you have the high, and it's on a wobble. I love buying wobbles. I didn't see any there. I would have picked a few more packages up, but I didn't see them. I'm obsessed with pressing this... Uh, light you know so it lights up I can't think just at the moment but I'll leave the link to that because they are wonderful to have once you get it figured out how to do it you're okay I'm almost running out of voice so these are a few cards I did in the last few days when I was having my uh, computer problems my glitches and shopping did help me I just got in my F-150 headed down the highway and I forgot about all the problems back home with my computer and I did a little shop and I'm going to show you. Remember I said I needed to get those add-ons for the camera? Well, really that's what motivated me to go, motivated me to go back. I went on Tuesday. Our stores aren't open Monday. So I told Brenda I would stop back and get those if she put them aside for me on Tuesday. So yeah, it was twofold while I was there. One was I told her I'd pick him up the other one. I was going crazy. <laughs> What's new, right? So I'm trying to figure, where do I start? Now, I really like the ghosting sentiments 
and I saw these. They weren't exactly what I wanted in the last haul. This was in, in the last haul, and uh, you have to check that out. There's so many goodies in that haul. But I did find this one that said birthday, and it did have the ghosting there in the background, and I like that because I could add my own sentiment, you know, whatever I wanted to say, then maybe add in that spot some vellum, and then add some nice gold with the birthday. There it is right there. It's pretty close, isn't it, to the actual um, uh, packaging, how it says, how it looks there. The, the die is pretty close to that. And uh, so I bought that yesterday, and I don't know how much, I can't remember how much that was, but um, I certainly like that, and I am going to do a card. I know exactly what card I'm going to do with this birthday. And I thought that was really sweet. I can't even read it. You know, my glasses are foggy tonight. I don't know if my eyes are foggy from being up so late. And that was from the last stash. Because I want to back up and say about the slimline cards. LDRS Creative, where I design, I'm a design team member there. This slimline motivated me to get more slimlines. And that motivated me to get more slimline. I couldn't stop myself. So Angie, just sending me this put me on a slim line buying frenzy. Yes, I really like them. There's so many things. I think I picked up every single slim line thing there was. Uh, like I said, there was these wiggly hill lines with the dots. There was this one in the other hall. I, I'm just going fast on this. There was the tag ones. There was the this one that flipped open. All of them flipped open. And this one made the side slide envelopes to have fancy side slide edges. And uh, this is the set that I did today. I forgot to put it in my video for my uh, mermaid cards. This was the card yesterday. I'll show it to you. Uh, I had questions on which, um, not a, I always want to call these stencils embossing folders, but which stencil this was. So I'm going to show you. I have to just run over and get the card. So this is the fish that go round and round. And then I took the inside square and they didn't do this. I just taped the, the part, the upper portion with scotch tape and covered it with gold foil, like I said in the video. And um, I was able to use it as a flip square. And this is the lovely uh, stencil. I love stencils. And that's how it goes. The fish start at one section and go all the way around, almost like a number six. Or you can turn it over and it'll be like a number nine. Whoa, I'm starting to fog. Uh, I'm starting to panic. I really, we, Apple and Advisor and myself had a lot of work to do on my iMac because I just um, had my programs in wrong places and they, I guess I didn't know it, and they weren't going to the external hard drives because I hate, have eight terabyte, two eight terabyte uh, external hard drives and they happened to be going into my internal and it really did mess some things up. So. It took us most of the day to get that figured out. There's all the slimline buys that I had gotten. I got two more yesterday. No, I got three more yesterday that were not from the last haul. So there was three. I hope I separate them. It's the round scallop one. And it's the, um, oh, I can't even remember. I'm sorry. There, this one. This is the round scallop one I got yesterday. For the slim line, I really like this one because wait till you see what I bought for this. I bought these little uh, round domes to put over top for shakers. I'm going to put the little bunny. Oh, I'm not going to share what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some of the new Design Team Summer uh, projects right in here. These little wee. Um, I love these. I think Janet. You and I picked up a lot of these when you were down. Janet lives in Brooklyn, and she used to fly in and spend the week with me. And we met on YouTube, right, Janet? Um, and we bought a lot of 
these style domes to put as shakers. But these were the tiniest domes I've ever seen. And then I saw the shaker like this, and I thought, how cool would that be? Even for a children's birthday card, you could do some really uh, crazy things in there to make kids laugh. Like I had a few things I was thinking of, but I'll share them when I put it up to YouTube. So I got that slim line. Oh, I think that's like 10 slim line additions I got when Angie Show gave me the LDRS Creative Slim Line die for the design team projects. I just went crazy. So what am I looking for now? I try to keep them aside so I don't show things twice because I was there on Friday and did that huge haul and now I'm back again doing this huge haul from yesterday so I want to put this away. So the top two things I got there yesterday. I'm going to say it one more time and that's it. So there you go. And it all started right there with my LDRS Creative Slimline Die 14 piece set. It's marvelous, darling. Just marvelous. And yes, I do love those little domes. Now, remember I showed these? I ha I'm going to leave a link on where you can get them. I found out the name of them. It's called Marco and it's on Etsy. And I picked up uh, two more. There was only two more left. So, and then I picked up some tonic glue. I wanted to try this. I heard some good reviews on it. So I thought, okay, it's tonic essentials glue. It dries clear and it fits in that thingy. And um, yeah, so I did buy four and I am, leave me a comment and tell me why you would like to have one of these. Like if there's a funny story or, you know, something, I'm going to give one of them away. And uh, so just uh, let me know and uh, we will certainly do that. I, I like giving things away. So that's good. We'll do that one. So that I'll, um, I, I just love having somewhere where my glue can be upside down, you know, where, where I don't have to keep shaking it. And then I bought another one of the half inch and another one of the quarter inch. I have enough of them, the Suquang ones. I got them out and then I, I took them out of the packaging and then I put them back in. I kind of like them so I know that they're the newer ones than the ones that I'm using already that are open. So I kind of thought I'd keep them in the packaging. So um, that was that. Now, you know our purple tape we all use? for putting down paper when we're watercoloring or doing our stencils or whatever. Well, guess what? They have the new version. Oh yes, let's zoom in on this. They have a thinner version because I mean, this is way too thick. You know, I'm always cutting pieces off, but look at the new look purple tape, $8.99 Canadian. Remember that I'm Canadian. These are Canadian prices. And it has little flowers on it, and it's nice. Look how thin it is. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to waste any. And uh, generally, I just set it on my island and reuse it and reuse it till I can't reuse it again. So I thought I'd share that. Now, this I liked because it's a die that you put in the middle of the card. It doesn't matter how big your card is. Look at that. It's for a gift card. It's for a letter. It's for... Um, Anything you want to fit, when you squeeze that in and glue the edges there, you have a spot to put a gift card and then a couple of cutesy images. This at Christmas is going to be beautiful. All decked out in gold and it's made in the USA. Oh yes, 26 something there, 26, 25. I couldn't see it, it was so fast. Yeah, let's get rid of that. <laughs> and, um, and then I got the Lawn Fawn eighth of an inch tape. I have them, but they're running out. You can see I lost the round thing in the middle. It fell out, plopped out, but it doesn't stop me. And there's the other one. So this is all I had left of the one eighth. And you, there's so many things you need that one eighth of an inch tape for. So I was glad that Brenda had that in the store. And uh, so, yeah, I'm up on tape. I'm going to 
got the purple tape and the tape tape and the great big bulk tape. And now, this is Nellie's. This is, I've never heard of this. It has four different sets, $18.99. It's four different designs. I got the one in the bottom right with the snowflake. And it said Nellie's. Now, my Aunt Nellie passed away. That's my mom's sister. Uh, they're both with the Lord. And just I just saw Nellie's. And I had to get it because it reminded me of my Aunt Nellie. And every time I create, I will be thinking of her. And it is, I think it's six dies. I can't get it out. I actually ripped. This is the mood I was in. Just get that tape off there. Rip that packaging off. Carol, you don't have all this time to be neat and tidy. Just rip it off. You can put it in another container. Yeah, there we go. Put it in a Ziploc. Anything. You can put it in a lunch bag. Whatever. Just get it off. Yeah. So here we go. Get it off that sticky tape. Now let's count them. You have the outer ring. That's nice. Then you have the snowflake die next. That's so cute. Yes. And then you have this one. It's not easy to put, I mean, it is easy to put back in. And then you have three separate decorative circles and they're all different. It's hard to see close up, but they are all different. And then you have a beautiful center snowflake. This will be lovely on a card. Be lovely in an, in an album. It's just plain lovely. I like it. It's the, it's the nicest one I thought out of the four. So that's why I got it. So I will call it my Aunt Nelly die. Mm -hmm. So I'll leave the links to these. I'm going to have some time. I'll have to link them up. And then there was one more roll, like, you know, the big scotch honkin' roll. This one isn't as thick. It's not as deep. But boy, is this one sticky. So that's the one I bought on Friday. I put the green um, thingy on it. There's the scotch roll that I'm running out of. So I, she didn't, uh, Brenda didn't have one, a scotch roll, so I grabbed another one of these. $29.99 for those. So for two of them. 30-30. Oh yeah. I don't know how much the scotch roll was, but I think it was pretty close to $60 and you get two rolls for that. But like I said, the white roll is thinner. So I think I'm going to like it, you know. You can always double it up like I said in my last haul tutorial. And the last haul tutorial where you see all the heartfelt creation dies in the front picture, uh, that was from Friday. And I'm going to put it at the end of this video so that you see it so that you can just press on it and go over and see what I bought Friday and then all this stuff makes sense to you that I bought yesterday so if you view Friday's haul and this haul it all makes sense and the reason I have is I buy in twos in case one of them just happens to I don't know grow legs and walk off lots of my things do that you know so um with my stamp press, I always kept one new one. I didn't get that yesterday. I just always had that new. Um, if you look around, you'll see one thing, like tweezers, then you'll see tweezers in a package. Now, here's what started the whole thing. This $43.99 die of a camera. I didn't know you had to have the Iris add-on. And then there's the uh, Instax add-on. Oh yeah, it gets better. So you have the Instax that comes out the top. This is a cool, this is worth it. I've been watching videos on it and it's hysterical. It has so many possibilities, it's crazy. I'm just grabbing my Instax um, camera. I had said that I had one and I thought, well, I said I had one. I better show that I have one. Uh, I don't think I'm walking across the street to get it. Get over here, Carol. Should have sped it up. It's just across the island on, on, um, yeah, there you go. So that's the Instax. You take a picture with your, um, iPad, and then that's connected to the iPad. And the picture that you took that you liked, and then these are all the films I have for it that I haven't opened yet. So I have two, three, four, five. So that'll take, what, 50 more pictures? 
uh, how many pictures are in there? I don't even know. 10 to each pack? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Yes. And it goes with this. I already have one inside that. And that's the same size. I'm going to show you. The Instax picture is the exact same size as that die. So you get a pretty little frame to put your Instax picture on top. So you have that uh, possibility of matching everything on the camera and the ink stack that's coming up. You have the die that makes the pretty paper and then you have the actual pictures. I kept them in a little box. Also, I really should uh, speed that up. I mean, who wants to see a bunch of pictures like that? Right here it is. Oh, look at that. Me. <laughs> yeah, my granddaughter was taking these. That's my grandson. She took that. That's the one I have. I always put up on my channel. That one my granddaughter took. This one, she liked these glasses. I didn't like that picture, but uh, she had to have that. That was out in the sun. That's my grandson. That's our living room right there, fireplace. That's uh, me with my granddaughter. That's me with the Oh, my son tan last summer. And uh, yeah, that's for my Coke machine. That's shopping with Owen and Olivia. That was a funny memory. And that's me in the ortho chair. Uh, I went back to say hello to everybody and sat in the ortho chair. Yes. And that one is you, Janet, and uh, me, and uh, let's see, Bonnie is there, you know, when everybody came down, and Sherry, that's the four of us all the way across the table at Sharon's uh, Buffalo Stamp and Stuff shop where we went and shopped for oh, hours and days and hours and days over to Buffalo, but we can't get over now. The Buffalo Bridge is closed, so we can't get over there, and they can't get over here, so it's pretty sad. So here we go. There's the camera. Now, when I got home, I had these two. I had the camera, the thing that flicks down is there. You had the Instax picture thing to go there. And I didn't have the iris. You have to buy the iris separately. I phoned Brenda and I said to the girl, well, it was Carol at the front, tell Carol, I didn't get an iris. What, what am I supposed to do with this camera? The idea is that the iris is supposed to open up and show you pictures, you know? Uh, this is cute. I like that idea. $31.99. Well, you got to pay what you got to pay, right? Uh, I think I already said that was $43.99, but that was on uh, Friday's shop. There it is. This is the iris. I remember the iris on YouTube because it had a wiener-shaped thing. You cut out three of them, and it makes the iris. It was $56.99 down to $51.99 for this one. And there it is, the iris. It goes behind the camera and it opens up and shows you like the camera's really working. You flick that thing on the top and your iris opens up and your image pops out and screams, Smile, you're on candid camera. Yep, that's what it screams. I'll do a video on that one so you can put it on yours. Now, this one is an add-on, too. This is this, this could be the outside spinner where you put, I'll show you, the iris, that iris part over there goes in that, and then that goes in this, this thing, and then you flick it on that, that uh, caved thing. You just, yeah, see how it all, it's closed, it opens, it opens, and you just pull down the tab from right there. And then it has a whole lot of sayings, and that's an add-on. What is it, $40.99 or something for this add-on? But these are all, this is what happened when I saw that camera. My friends, all of this happened. And you can't have the camera unless you have every add-on. So I can't say I don't have all the add-ons now, right? There's the iris. Oh yeah, this is going to be fun. I think that's going to be super duper fun in albums because you you know you're doing albums to take pictures of your family of people, 
memories and what are you going to have? Some cameras throughout there and then somebody will press the button and there's their family member. I love it. Oh yeah, put that down Carol. You don't have to see all that. Whoa, yeah, I don't need to see all that. But you know what? Now I have a camera that works. It's all worth it. That's the iris. That's the camera. Okay, put it away. We're all set. That's it. We're done. So that was yesterday. Then there was two new Heartfelt Creation dies, other than the, uh, I don't know, what did I get, 10 other ones on Friday? Well, now I have 12. And this one, they're all $43.99. We already talked about that on Friday. And this one is gorgeous. You take it apart. This is going to be a gorgeous front, like on the front of an album. Oh my, I have, there's so many possibilities for this die, it's crazy. And I'm thinking albums for Claire. And this one, I just love as a church window. It has so many possibilities as well. All those, there's a lot of dies in that one die. That's the key, you know, and uh, botanical window. So another heartfelt creation die goes with my other collections now. And what else did I get? Let's see. Oh yes, remember I was showing you my liquid verse mark? Well, there was two of them at the shop, so I grabbed both of them because I can't run out of this. I am almost out. That one has only about an inch left in there. And every time I see them, I I buy them. And these are the, the ortho sticks or the dental assistant sticks you get. It has a little white, uh, nice fuzzy end on it. That does not come off. Boy, that really does paint well. I did all those boulders with those. And I used this. This is the daubers that I used. I just take the lid off. And you can stamp on that using Versamark. If you have a large image and you don't want to use your, your uh, pad, you can just use this. It is a dauber. But I use it just as a liquid. I've done many, many, many. See how I use the stick pick to put all of the uh, gold on the paper to look like boulders, and that's what I used there. And it was $7.99 each, and now I'm well supplied. I like it. I'm just showing you on the card that I just put up. That is with the Liquid Versamark dollar. So now we can put away three nice full ones and use up the one that's right there that I, that I don't have in my hand. I'm cradling the new one. See, seven bucks. Seven bucks, seven bucks, seven bucks, 21 bucks, plus 13% tax on everything. Oh yes, we Canadians pay a high tax. We do. So that was one thing that I bought yesterday. And I was starting to get happy again, you know. Not that things make me happy to buy it. I don't want you to get that impression. I just found that all that computer problem was getting me down and my blood pressure was getting up and I just knew I had to get away from the situation for a while and go look around the store again. So that's what I did. And I just happened to buy some stuff. I can't help it. So there you go. Why am I showing you again? Get those off. That's what I'm thinking. Throw those $7 things in the garbage. There you go. Go put that away, Carol. Yep. I had to put all that away. Can't even remember the things that I bought, actually. And get. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, not show that one. This has a die, right? right? It's coming up. This has a die. It is a huge, beautiful floral image. And it has, I think, three smaller floral images that have dies, I think. Maybe not. That's not this one. Okay. Now, see, it's the size of my hand. Now, notice the floral images. Look at the flowers there. I want to show you something. This is what sold me on this set, okay? Those flowers. Now, look at this honk and roll of, um, what do they call that? That tape. What was that? This one was $34.99 on sale for $31. And that was on sale. That was 26 I don't know. I can't read it. 
and this is washi tape, six inch washi tape. There's 19 on for 18. And what you do is the print that's on there, I'm going to take it apart. That's made by Pink Fresh Studio. And when you unroll this, I saw it on a card. You see, that's what Brenda does. All of her friends, they do cards there when they had their make and takes and then you get looking at it and you say, I gotta have that. I have to have that. Good night, I've never seen anything like that. And then Brenda gets me the stuff and it's uh, fabulous. Yeah, just getting all that stuff together. So I tried to get this all apart without um, wrecking it and not using up all the washi tape. I can't remember how many cards she said these make like an A2 cards, 52 maybe cards, card fronts with this washi tape. But the thing is, the, uh, and I don't end up wanting to cut them, I just want to cut the end. I don't want to cut my finger either. But um, the thing about this is, you can color the flower behind me there to match the washi tape. So say you put the washi tape on your envelope. How pretty is that? And then you color your card, that great big stamp, and I love the font to that stamp. That drew me in right away. And uh, the lettering is so beautiful. And it and it's more for, um, it has, I, I'm trying to see it, like hope and inspire and um, it's more like get well cards, sympathy cards. It's kind of drawn to that. And uh, I just loved it. And I love the colors in this. I'm going to try and get it off without ripping it into a thousand pieces. Uh, like I was, you know, going to do. I took my time. That's why I did that edit there. I just did it a wee bit at a time. And then let's move this stuff. And I'm going to show you the beautifulness of it. Look at this six inch washi tape with the same design as the stamp and die set. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, I'm trying to get it. It is real sticky. You're going to have to really work it nicely. I'm sure it will come out better once it's out of the packaging, you know, where the air can get at it. But once I got it on my mat there, it did start coming off nicely. Like once I got it sticking down there, you're going to find it's nice. And it really drew my attention when I saw this on a card. I said, that's beautiful. What stamp is that? And she said, well, that's not the stamp. The stamp's over there. This is the washi tape that matches the stamp. I said, what? You're kidding me, right? And no, she wasn't. Beautiful. Now there's two sets that, that have this... Um, eye-catching thing. You have the six-inch washi tape here and then you have, and see how it says sorry, inspire, grateful. So this is more for um, get well and for a sympathy card. So I'm, I'm switching it over here so you can see it uh, and I'm spreading it. It's not ripping it this way. Now you have the same flowers that's in this floral right there. My friends, same flowers. They are. Yeah, same botanicals. They're beautiful, except for they're not colored. But I mean, can you think of a billion and one things to do with that? I can. Oh, I couldn't wait to get it into the bag. Well, I couldn't wait to pay for it, then put it in the bag. Yeah, you wouldn't want to do it that way. Now, here's the other one. This was hanging up on a card. Now you have that geometrical gold shape thing going on there. And then right in the middle of that geometrical shape with that washy water look of pastels, okay, uh, you had that butterfly. And that butterfly is so intricate. And it was cut with gold, my friends, gold foil. It is so crazy tiny intricate. Um that I couldn't believe it. I just kept staring at that card. It had me at hello. I mean, at, at tweet tweet. I was just getting it. I couldn't help it. 
And let me get it out and show you how crazy. One, they're geometrical. Two, you have the hummingbird, you have the butterfly, and then you have that other thingy, whatever it was there. And this was hanging. You could see the gold. It's a lot of gold on there. And then this was die cut in gold and it was on an A2 card. Gorgeous. And I thought somebody painted that. I really did. I thought it was painted and then somebody had this beautiful die that was so thin I couldn't even believe that it would stay on there. And it's a Sizzix die if I ever get it in the frame. It is a Sizzix die. And I should have had it turned around because there's a butterfly. Then there was the... Um, Ah, oh, right there, butterfly. Oh, a bunny. Couldn't think of it. The bunny and the hummingbird. Tim Holtz, yes. And that's a set. You buy that as a set. And you can make cards galore just by washi tape and these wonderful dies. So I had to have those too. It was just wonderful. This was a wonderful shop. Everything in this shop is so different from the haul video on Friday, isn't it? Like every product is different. So that's what I like about this. And if you get it, now here's another one. I love wreaths. I love, love, love floral wreaths. It has the floral dye and it has all the little flower dyes that you could raise up the flowers in your wreath. Isn't that pretty? And look at all the sentiments. You can't run out of sentiments. It's impossible. How could you make that many wreaths and run out? That was, what is that? Uh, $57? I can't see it. $77? I can't tell. $57 probably. Um, that one was really fast. And uh, I don't know how much that was. Now, this one killed me, okay? I saw this on Friday and didn't get it. It's from We Are Memory Keepers. And I saw on Anna Griffin uh, where I bought my uh, machine, my die cutting machine, my Empress, and then I bought the glue gun because I love that she, everything she has is in gold and cream. But this was right there. I didn't have to pay American money and the, the difference in the um, exchange and the bridge. But watch this. <laughs> this is what got me. No batteries in this one, my friends. This connects to your computer. You charge it with your computer. So you never have to buy batteries. Now watch this. I'm going to sprinkle out some stars. Okay? Now you're doing your work. La, 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 la. Oh, look at I spilt my stars. What am I going to do? They're going to be all over my floor. Oh, no. Look at the brushes. And that suction right there, my friends, will suck the rings right off your finger. Oh, yeah. Get them out of the way, Carol. Watch this. And I'm not hardly touching it. I'm not pressing it down. They're gone. There is that. Cr it, it's it, it, it's whisper quiet, and they're all inside the vacuum. And all I did was took a blush brush and flicked it into the garbage pail. Not one of them stayed behind. Not one of them. Oh yeah, probably because I had baby powder on my blush brush, right? Because that's what I use it for. Now watch this. This slides. Push over. Push it over, Carol. Doesn't do that. Push it. Oh, don't turn it, Carol. What's the matter? There. Push it aside. And there's the cord for your computer. That goes in to the USB cord. And the other thing goes in your computer. I was sold. Oh, yeah. And Brenda said that she sold 50 of these to the crop girls that came in. Because they were making a mess, you know, with the dies. You're flicking out all those pieces, parts banging them on the table. Here, I'm going to put some more out and show you. Press it. You can't even hear it. Quiet, quiet, quiet. And there they, look, look, sucked it right up. Get away from my washi tape. I don't want to suck that up. Yes. And there they are. Oh, every one of them. Every one of them. Not one escaped. No, my rings are still on my finger. And that's all I had to do. Press that button. Marvelous, darling. Oh, yeah, $29.99, worth every penny. We are memory keepers, and it has a charger for your 
uh, laptop or charge it on your iPad, charge it on your desktop, iMac, whatever it is I've got going on here, and look at that. I don't know why I'm putting it away because I did get it out. And you don't have to worry about batteries, and We Are Memory Keepers is stands by their products. So I am thrilled. And it has a gold button, so I, I, I don't mind. $29.99. Oh, yeah. Look at all the stuff there I can pick up. I'm going to throw all kinds of stuff all over and pick it up, especially when you do the intricate dies. Now, the, this gem, this is what I did the card with. I forgot to tell you today. For... Um, your um, little gems there. Use this Faber-Castell texture gem. It the, Those um, gems will not fall off. You put it in the hole, they, they shine and they glue on and they don't come off. It, it's wonderful stuff. It's for making teardrops or wet drops on your flowers. And I bought two black flip top albums from Heartfelt Creation. The 3D albums already prepared. All I have to do is decorate it for $20.99 each. So there was two of them there that I didn't see on Friday, Brenda. I told her I didn't see that. So I got these two because I'm going to be decorating some albums soon. And I thought that was a lovely, lovely gift. Now, the taste de la resistance is coming up. Oh yeah, remember I bought that basket from Tonic? And right there, and it's connected to the side of my island with hundreds of stuff in there, I'm telling you. It's still not full, and I bought two of the containers to put on the side. That's not full. Look, I'm using this like crazy, I'm telling you. I love this. I think it was $53.99 and then $13 each for the round of baskets. So $26 for the two baskets. And uh, I'm gonna tell you something. I asked Brenda if she would order me one. And she said, I don't have to, Carol. I have an extra one. I said, you do? Yes, I do. Here it is. And I bought another one. There you go. I'm gonna have one on my right. And this one is going to be for going to be for my, goodness, I'm going to use it for, how's that, my um, extras, you know, like uh, if I have a collection and I just want to set some things over here, but I want to keep the dies and the stamps and the things and the ribbons over here, I'm going to have, I'm going to allocate it for something. Each side of me is going to be organized. I can't wait. I can't wait. And, um, <clears throat> uh, this is all you do. You just turn, 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 turn it around and slide it under your table and then turn that round thing on. You can snap off the basket to clean it. It's super duper heavy. One's going over there and one's going over there. So there you have it, my friends. That's it. I know this is the last thing. Thank you for joining me. Thank you so much. And it, uh, I'm going to get two more of these so they're before all together to keep me somewhat organized. I can't wait. So thank you for joining me. I'm going to see if this goes up to YouTube because I think we fixed everything in my computer that I had all over the place. And thank you for enjoying my haul with me. There I go. Oh, there it is. Black F-150 going home. Okay, take care everybody. I will see you tomorrow for the next tutorial. Take care.